Well, starting with the parliament's impeachment vote against President Bakunay, domestic politics is undergoing a dramatic change in this country. With the latest split of the ruling Senate Party, the National Assembly is now, for the first time in more than two decades, operating under a four party system. Our Pak Ji Wan has the latest from Parliament. The National Committee of the Ruling Senuri Party, which is now the second largest party in Parliament with 99 members, has officially ratified 70 year old Im Myung Jin as the party's new interim leader. In was selected as the party's interim leader late last week, and with Thursday's official ratification, he is set to lead the party through the current crisis. He called on his fellow party members to deeply reflect on past wrongdoings, vowing to pursue the true values of conservatism. The new interim leader will also recommend some 15 interim council members early next month, and once confirmed by the National Committee, the ruling party's interim council will be completed. Meanwhile, the tentatively named New Conservative Party for Reform, established by former Senuri lawmakers, held a policy meeting on Thursday, criticizing the current administration in issues like the government's feeble measures to counter the rampant spread of avian influenza. The lawmakers vowed to push forward with diverse reform-minded bills, including the ones aiming to set up an investigative authority for corruptions of high-profile officials and change the management structure of public broadcasting. The main opposition Democratic Party of Korea, which is currently the number one party in terms of number of lawmakers, has vowed to bear more responsibility and a bigger sense of balance and to pursue bills to reform the nation's prosecution, the press and conglomerates during the upcoming assembly sessions of February next year. The minor opposition People's Party elected four-term lawmaker Chu Sung yong as its new floor leader Thursday morning. Chu and his chief policymaker, fellow four-term lawmaker Cho bae suk will serve as the party's floor leadership until next May. Former floor leader Park Ji-won resigned upon their election as he will run for the party leader position next month. On Thursday afternoon, a full assembly was also held, passing dozens of bills including revisions on aviation safety and security law. During the session, lawmakers also selected Senuri Party floor leader Chang Utek as the chair of the House Steering Committee. It's a long-held parliamentary tradition that the ruling party floor leader takes the position. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.